Vivica told me you were here. What happened? Marvin, he had a stroke. Oh, God, how? I thought he was taking his pills. So did I. Miss Black, Mr. Perlis seems to be out of danger, but we're going to keep him in the ICU for a couple of days. Oh, poor Marvin. It seems there's a problem with his medication. What kind of problem? He was taking 240 milligrams of Parapamil twice a day. I know, I spoke with his doctor, but the pills he was carrying were only 180 milligrams. The pharmacy must have rushed it through, didn't double check it. If I were him, I'd get myself a lawyer. I am in love with Katrina. So why am I still drawn to Angela? <sighs> Maybe if I make love to her one more time, I'll get her out of my system. Katrina never find out about it, will she? Doesn't the fact that I'm here tell you something? Yeah, that you came back to see my father's wedding. Hey, I'm just quoting you. <laughs> Do you need everything spelled out? I'd like to know where I stand. Well, my spelling in English is still not very good. I grew up speaking a different language, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, some languages are universal. Oh, neither one of us wants to go first. This reminds me of these two French guys, Gaston and Alfonso. You go first. No, 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 after you. Look, no, you go I'm first. not the one who paid a visit to St. Louis to see an old love. You didn't have to leave town. Your admirers are right here. You're talking about Lily. Katrina, how many times do I have to tell you I have never been in love with Lily? My God, I, I don't care what Suzanne tells you. Are you saying that you're in love with me? <sighs> I'm saying that I'd like to be given a chance. Seems like everything gets in the way, doesn't it? Every time I want to get near you, I have to make it past the dragon lady just to see you. Suzanne does not tell me how to think. <laughs> she tries. But I'm not talking about Suzanne right now. Suzanne, see, the biggest obstacle is your past. You can't seem to put it behind you. Do you have any of those headache pills? I have a headache. Oh, uh, no. Why not? I know why not. You don't have to tell me. It's because those headache pills weren't headache pills. They were droxin. Oh, uh, no. Look, look at me. You took him from the hospital. You I did not. Come on, Joey, you're crazy. I am not crazy. You're out of your mind. Why don't you tell me what went on here? What did you do to Katie? Katie! You've ever thought that maybe I'm sick of hearing about Katie? That's all you ever talk about. Did you ever think about me? Answer me! You know, you didn't even come here to look for anything. You just came here to check on your precious Katie! Get away from the door, Joey. Where's the key? Joey. Joey, you're gonna be sorry. Joey, I swear. If you don't get away from the door right now, you're going to be sorry. We're back. I don't know how things got so out of control. Michael, come on up here with the okay. strawberries because Ernestine is just chomping at the bit of here. driving come on. me crazy. Ernestine. She wants to show you how a real sexy woman gives you uh -huh. a strawberry. Uh -huh. Come on. Go for it, Ernestine. <laughs> Careful, it's, a, it's daytime television. <laughs> From? Richmond, California. Are you ashamed of yourself? No. Do they? Now, do you watch Santa Barbara? I will now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Man, you better put that away. She's gonna be here in a minute, and she's gonna be pissed. Dude. Fucking, I'm not afraid of her, man. It's fucking chill. What are you guys doing? Well, we're just taking some practice shots, you know? We're waiting for you. Well, you're wasting the battery. 
I want you guys to take this seriously. All right, I, I'm serious. Whatever, let's go.